I've been dreading this one, y'all. Work it, make it, do it, makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole and I've lost 100 pounds on my low carb ketogenic lifestyle over my journey. Today I'm going to be doing another keto kicker test and we're going to be testing the Enlighten ice cream. This is their keto collection. They have bars, they have pints, they have it all and they are delicious I must say. I really like this caramel chocolate double dough. I wanted to test one that did not have peanuts in it because if you know me, if you follow my other videos, peanuts and this girl just does not jive. So I wanted to give the brand a true test and not test any of the peanut butter ones. I have all peanut butter ones in there because even though it's my kryptonite, I do love me some peanut butter. But I wanted to give it a true depiction on how it affects me. So this one does not have peanut butter. However, this one is one of my other favorites. So I'm excited to try it. And I am gonna be testing glucose at 30 minutes, one hour, and at two hours. We're testing our ketones first. And what I like to test my ketones with is the Keto Coach Monitor. Number one, because it is the most affordable out there on the market as a blood meter, and it's going to be the most accurate that you can get. Here soon, they are launching a dual glucose and ketone monitor that I'm so stoked about that's going to have an app that tracks everything, so stay tuned for that. But if you do have a glucose monitor, you might want to go ahead and purchase the ketone monitor, which I always have linked down below with a discount code, by the way. So I have not eaten anything. I am fasted as far as waking up. We haven't tested our fasted ketones. I will give you a little backstory. I just just got off of doing this carnivore challenge and over a week and a half I have not been in ketosis because it jacked my body up. I'm happy to report that yesterday I went to the gym for the first time they opened up and I got my ketones back on track so I'm kind of nervous to test this honestly because I'm just starting to feel good and get my ketones together and uh, hopefully this doesn't jack me up too. So let's get in there and test our fasted ketones, glucose, see where we're at, woof a serving of this down, talk about the ingredients, talk about the serving and then see how it affects the girl. So Enlighten Ice Cream, the Keto Collection. So what's appealing on their packaging always is that they represent that they have one net carb per serving. And if you look at the ingredients here, macros, I am gonna do just a one serving. Usually when I eat this at night, I do two, let's be honest. A serving is half a cup, so that's 70 grams. I am gonna weigh that out on my scale. 180 calories, 16 fat. We've got three protein. And we've got 13 total carbs. We've got three of that as fiber. And then we've got nine sugar alcohols. Ingredients they are using are cream, water, erythritol. So that's going to be part of your sugar alcohols, egg yolks, non-GMO soluble corn fiber. That's the main reason why I want to test this product and some others. Well, this was the first one I'm testing with soluble corn fiber to see if it kicks me out of ketosis because I think it does affect me anyway. Almond flour, vegetable, glycerin, not the best. Dutch cocoa, milk, protein, concentrate, natural flavors, cream cheese, skim milk, butter, unsweetened chocolate, cocoa butter, terra gum, guar gum, carob gum, monk fruit extract, salt, stevia extract, xanthan gum, sunflower, lectin. So the ingredients, not terrible except except for that non-GMO soluble corn fiber and also the vegetable glycerin. Everything else in there is super clean. So those are the two ingredients that I'm wanting to see affects me. If you want to see how allulose 22 grams in fact affects a girl, you definitely need to go check out that keto Duncan Hines keto kicker we did a couple weeks ago. Got everything prepped to go. I am going to be testing with this glucose monitor. Y'all been asking. I will have it linked this time down below. Got it off Amazon and it's pretty good in my opinion. Okay, so we're coming in at 66 for our blood glucose fasted. I've been up for mm, not quite two hours yet and we're coming in at 0.3. Now I usually read pretty low in the morning. I will say like I said yesterday, I read in ketosis the entire day. I was 0.7 at about 11 o'clock before I went to bed last night and I haven't had anything since. So um, my ketones are just, you know, crazy all over the place being fat adapted for so long, but I'm not um, concerned about that at all because like I said, I'm feeling good. And I know since yesterday I've been reading in ketosis with the foods that I'm eating and I'm really hungry. So that's probably um, what that is. I need some fat in my system. As far as glucose go, they read between like 65 to 75 fasted in the morning. So that's about average for me. So this is what we're starting with baseline guys. Let's see if at the two hour mark that goes up and we're in ketosis and let's see how the glucose does 30 minutes one hour and two hour let's get to eating 79 for the gram 70 is a serving size so we're just a little bit over half a cup not concern that's what we're going with cookie dough pieces and you'll see that big hunk of brownie pieces in here and chocolate chips 
This one is so good. So it is gone. That was delicious first thing in the morning, I have to say. It's 8.50, so I'm gonna see you guys in 30 minutes to do a glucose test. If you haven't had ice cream for breakfast, I guess you're not living your best life, but can't be doing that every day, but that was delicious. You won. Let's go. Before we test, if you've watched any of my other keto kickers, I just wanted to give you my feels. So instantaneously after eating it, started getting chills, feeling cold, feeling tingly um, in my arms, and usually that's a sign of either two things. One, my glucose is through the roof, or two, uh, my glucose might be through the roof, but it's also affecting my ketone levels because when I feel like this, a lot of times it raises my ketones. I know, I'm weird. Let's test, but I don't have high hopes for this. We went up about 14 points. We were at 66 for our baseline, 30 minutes, we're now at 80. So for me, guys, I don't want it to go over 20. So I want it to stay as long as it's within 20 points of what my baseline is. That's not a significant jump to me. If it goes over 20, then I know that it's highly affecting me and it's something that I want to stay away from. 66 to 80 for 30 minutes. It was expected, especially with the way that I'm feeling. I am feeling tingly all over, so I knew it was affecting me. So now let's go in for one hour. One hour. Baseline was 66. We came in at 30 minutes at 80. Now at an hour, we went down to 78. So that's good. At least we're not climbing. We are going down. That's what we want to see. We want to see us return to baseline. So I'm happy with that so far. Timer's going off. It is almost 11 o'clock. Let's get these two hour ketones and glucose tests. I'm ready because the girl is hungry, ready for some real food. We are coming in at 76. So just to give you a little recap, at one hour we were at 78. So it's continually going down, which is what we want. We were at baseline of 66. Did we get back to baseline? We did not. However, I do read, you know, pretty low in the morning and this is average for me to be between 70 to 80 for my glucose. So I'm happy with that. And then we read at a point three as far as our ketones this morning, and now we are at a point four. So it, they did not even stay the same. They went up just by one, which I will take, okay? So did it get me to back into ketosis necessarily? Um, no, like some of the other foods that we've tested that I've done, but it did go up. So it didn't stay the same, it didn't go down, it went up. So does Enlighten affect me? Absolutely not, at least the non-peanut butter ones. Now, I, I know the ones that have peanuts in them probably would not have the same results, but I wanted to give a consensus on most of their flavors and not just the peanut butter ones, and so I didn't want it to be a flawed test. So Enlighten is a winner. Enlighten does not affect me. Enlighten actually helped me a little bit ketone-wise, and we can see that we are going down glucose-wise. Most foods, guys, you're always going to have an initial spike after 30 minutes, and we want to keep it between 20 points. So in my opinion, Enlighten, is it a keto kicker? Absolutely not. It's a keto winner. So overall, what did I think about today's keto kicker test with the Enlighten ice cream? I'm pleased. I'm happy. Being that our glucose was steadily going down, it did not rise. Did it get to baseline? No, but I've never had, I think, a keto kicker where we've gotten to baseline. They've just went down if it was a product that didn't affect me. And the ketones went up by a point, so that's always a plus. So that means if I eat this at night and decide to treat myself, I don't have to worry about it kicking me out of ketosis or lowering my ketones any. So that's a win. Again, I did not try the ones with peanuts just because I know peanuts affect me greater. And also keep in mind when watching this video that these videos are intended to show you how these products affect me and my body. Everybody is different. That's why it's so important, guys, for y'all to invest in a keto coach monitor so you can test products and see how they affect you individually versus just watching these videos and taking for sake that it's going to treat you the same exact way. Don't forget I have a discount code down below for Keto Coach if you want to get your Keto Coach monitor. They do have the dual one coming out like I mentioned, but if you already have a glucose meter, it's probably easier just to go ahead and invest in the single. And speaking of discount codes, I do have a discount code with Enlightened. I've had it for before I even had this Keto Kicker um, test, so don't come for me. I'm not affiliated with Enlightened at all. I just reached out to them because I want you to save as much money like with Keto Coach and anything as possible. So I do have a discount code down below for their pint variety 
these the bar so definitely check out that discount code down below to save you some money if you're going to be ordering with enlighten anyway on their website if you enjoyed today's video and look forward to these keto kicker videos i post two per month please give it a huge thumbs up that helps the video so much and lets me know that you're enjoying the series here if you're not subscribed i'd love to have you a part of the keto family so make sure to hit all the bells and whistles down below so you're notified every single time i upload a new keto kicker i will be testing the rebel ice cream i've already had questions about it you're testing enlighten you get to test rebel next yes i definitely have to test rebel because y'all know i love rebel as well and i want to see how it affects me and then we can compare the two and see which one is the best hmm, kind of scared for that one but i've got some fun products that i'm going to be testing coming soon i'm going to be doing some collabs with some of my other keto friends here on youtube that are also going to be testing the same products to see how it affects them so definitely definitely make sure that your subscribe button is hit down below so you don't miss all the fun stuff coming up in the next few months cannot wait to share how these products affect me and see for myself kind of scared always i hope you have an amazing day i hope you have an awesome week go and order you some enlightened go to the grocery store and get it it is approved it's not a keto kicker go live your best keto ice cream life we'll see you in the next one bye y'all